वन तो आज हम पढ़ने वाले हैं सोशल मीडिया एनालिटिक्स साइकिल लास्ट वीडियो में हमने इसके दो स्टेजेस पढ़ लिए थे तो ये जो साइकिल है बेसिकली वो हमको स्टडी करना है आइडेंटिफिकेशन एक्सट्रैक्शन क्लीनिंग एनालाइजिंग विजुअलाइजेशन एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन तो इसमें से हमने लास्ट वीडियो में आइडेंटिफिकेशन और एक्सट्रैक्शन के बारे में पढ़ा था तो अब हम पढ़ेंगे क्लीनिंग तो क्लीनिंग क्या है वो हम देख लेते हैं ये देखिए ये हमने आइडेंटिफिकेशन एंड एक्सट्रैक्शन डिस्कस किया था अब आता है क्लीनिंग स्टेप नंबर थ्री तो ये इसमें क्या होता है जो अनवांटेड डेटा होता है उसको हम रिमूव करके जो इम्पोर्टेंट डेटा है हम उसको एक्सट्रैक्ट करेंगे सो इन दिस केस वी आर ट्राइंग टू क्लीन कोड क्लस्टर फिल्टर एंड वॉट एवर इंफॉर्मेशन दैट वी नीड सो वी कैन यूज द नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग सो नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग मतलब क्या होता है कि हमारा हम जो जिस तरह से बात करते हैं हमारा जो नेचुरल लैंग्वेज है इट मे बी हिंदी इट मे बी एनी अदर लैंग्वेज और आवर एक्सेंट सो वी आर वी एबल टू प्रोसेस दैट लैंग्वेज एंड गेट सम मीनिंग आउट ऑफ इट सो एन एल बी इज वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स दैट and it has got very well advanced in understanding the human language so coding and filtering can be performed by machines or it can be performed manually by humans if it's a small data then we can do it manually but if it's a large data then we have to do it with the help of programs so for example this discover text it combine both the machine learning and human coding techniques to discover code cluster and classify social media data next step number 4 is analyzing so in that in this stage whatever data we have cleaned we are trying to analyze it through the business insight so depending on the layer of social media analytics under consideration and the tools and algorithm employed the steps and approach will be taken care of for example nodes in the social media network can be clustered and visualized in a variety of ways depending on the algorithm employed so we can actually do our analysis based on which algorithm we have applied so our overall objective at this stage is to extract meaningful insights without losing the integrity of the data so we are applying a step by step procedure to analyze our data having the background knowledge and understanding the tools and its capabilities we get do this so if suppose a new product is launched in the market and we want to understand that whether the product is doing well or not in the market so we have to understand this from the comments from the tweets from the mm, hashtags or whatever information that is available on the social media and we should be able to analyze if there is any good or bad feedback or if the people like the product or dislike the product Now, step number five is visualization. Visualization का मतलब है कि हम जो information है उसको graphically present कर रहे हैं in the form of bar chart, pie chart. Then so it will add more value to our data because it is very easy to understand in a visualized format. Understanding the data, so it is very important that we don't present it in the form of numbers, but we present it in the form of charts, graphs. so it's very effective in analytics and uh, particularly help the complex and huge data to be represented in a very easy fashion so we can actually identify patterns we can identify the relationships and trends so it is effective yeah uh, it will help us in understanding the data and it will also help the top management to understand the data very very easily and quickly take decisions out of it now so with this we have completed all the steps of this now let's go to different types of visualizations that are possible so first is the network data with whom means if a person is connected to which other people on the network we can visualize it with the help of the network data for example a twitter following following network chart can show who is following whom so in this way if we can see the network then we can understand who is following whom and if we are interested in other network then we can identify those networks as well then comes the topical data means what topical data visualization is mostly focused on what aspect of the phenomena is under investigation so 
text cloud generator from social media comments can show what topics or themes are occurring more frequently in the discussion. So using the Google, you can actually generate the word cloud and you can find out that which topics are now moving in the market. So that is your topical data. Then comes the temporal data when means when that particular event has happened or what, uh, what is the time at which this particular event has more influence or more significance or we can identify the trends and patterns based on the time or time zones. So this is our topical data. Now next goes to geospatial data. Geospatial means where means which location we are talking about. So geospatial data visualization is used to map and locate data, people and resources. Then other forms of visualization also are there like tree, hierarchical, multidimensional chart, graph, tag, cloud, 3D dimension, computer simulations, infographics, flows, table, heat map, plot, etc. So all these you will understand when looking at the analytics of any content like suppose this is my YouTube channel. So if I go to the creator mode and I try to do the analytics or I try to understand the analytics of my data. So I can get a lot of information about it. I can show it here. So uh, you can see any content and you can understand its analytics. So here I don't have much of content but you can view other playlists. So where I have lots of views, we can go to that particular content and we can view the analytics. So it will give us a lot of information. Now step number six is interpretation. So interpretation is translating analytical results into meaningful business problems. That is anal interpretation means based on the interest of the people. Are we able to make some changes in our product or what should be the next product that should be launched in the market or which feature should be added. So this step relies on human judgment to interpret valuable knowledge from the visual data meaningful interpretation is particularly important when we are dealing with descriptive analytics where we are trying to analyze the comments, tweets and other things because descriptive analytics are more difficult to analyze. So if I take any particular content which is having more views then I will be able to do the analysis like if this is my content and I am having the analytics of this particular video. So from this particular video only I can find out what is the and what are the views, how many hours people have watched it and then what is the average duration, then average percentage viewed for this video. So this type of information is very very useful in our interpretation. So if we have a domain knowledge and we have expertise then we will be able to interpret the data very very correctly. So we have to apply two strategies. One is producing easily consumable analytical results and improving analytics consumption capabilities. So um, with this we have completed the six steps. They will be next video we will be studying about the challenges to social media analytics. Thank you.